Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. So today we are back with yet another amazing opportunity and today the opportunity which we are going to discuss for is from a very big company and is exclusively for 2025 pass out students. So let's check out what is this opportunity all about. So yes, uh, the company name is Google as you can see on my screen and you have might watch the thumbnail as well. So Google is hiring for customer engineering intern. So today in this video, we are going to check out each and every important update about this hiring opportunity and what is this company giving you as an employee. So we are going to check each and every of the thing like eligibility criteria and followed by a detailed registration process. So let's check out. So this link you will be getting in the description box as usual. When you will click on this link, you will be landed to talent battles official website where we have listed this opportunity. As you can see on my screen, the Google is hiring for customer engineering intern. And this is basically a cloud based field. Yes. So if you have interest in cloud, if you have basic knowledge of cloud, this is a very good area to work on for 2025 graduates. But there is a location constraint as well as this is a work from office job. So the location is Gurgaon, Haryana. Yes, so you must have to relocate to Gurgaon for your uh, like working. Next, let's check out. So yes, about the job. So Google Cloud helps employees and organizations to empower their employees, serve their customers and build words next for their business. All with technology built in the cloud. Yes, you might have listened about cloud technologies about Google Cloud. It's a very big name. Yes, where the, most of the companies uh, like put their servers in, on Google Cloud so that their working is uh, done very nicely. And you must have listened about SAAS, PAAS and IAAS. These are the very important terminologies in the field of cloud. So this job is deeply into this thing only. Our products are engineered, engineered for security, reliability, scalability, running the full stack for, from infrastructure to applications to devices and hardware. Our, and our teams are dedicated to helping our customers and developers see the benefits of our technology life to come. Okay, so let us check out what will be the responsibilities. So you will be working in a team to identify and qualify uh, the business opportunities, identify key customer technical objections and develop the strategy to resolve technical impediments to transactions. Work with customer engineers for technical aspects of solutions to include such activities in supporting bid responses, product and solution briefings, proof to proof concept work and the coordination of supporting technical resources. Work with Google Cloud Platform products to demonstrate and prototype integrations. So if you have earlier done any kind of work on the Google Cloud or if you have any kind of knowledge, if you have made any kind of projects related to this, so you can easily apply to this particular internship. This is an internship role. This is not a full time role. This is an internship which will be starting near about in April or May and will end in uh, like will end up from like 10 to 12 weeks. It will be having the duration of 10 to 12 weeks. The minimum qualification is you must be pursuing your bachelor's or master's degree in computer science or related technical field. Yes. So you must have like a uh, good knowledge in computer science and any other technical field like IT you can be. Okay. Experience with Google Cloud Platform products and database offerings. Ability to communicate in English fluently as a role requires interactions with English speakers, stakeholders. So your English must be very fluent. Okay, so next is some preferred qualifications. Ability to quickly learn, understand and work with new emerging technologies, methodologies and solutions in the cloud IT space. Excellent problem solving skills and you must be currently enrolled in a full time degree program and returning to the program. Yes. So this is the reason why we are considering only 2025 batch here. It means you must be enrolled in a full time degree and you must come back to your pro proper degree after completing this particular internship. So this is not for 2024 batch. This is basically only for 2025 batch students. So let's uh, now apply for this particular internship. Here is one blue button. When you will click on this blue button, you have to just log in. After the login, you will be landed to Google's official website where we have listed this opportunity. 
uh, whether Google has listed this opportunity. So yes, we are landed to Google careers page where the same opportunity is mentioned. And last date is 5th of April. Yes, only eight days are left. So you must uh, fill the form as soon as possible. This internship will run from May or June 2024 to July or August 2024 for a consecutive 10 to 12 weeks. Yes, it will be having duration of 10 to 12 weeks, which will be starting in May or June and ending in July or August. So this you must keep in your mind and your English must be very nice. Okay, and your resume must be made in English and include all grade level expected graduation date and availability of internship. We appreciate your patience while we consider your application. We will accommodate your school schedule when determining uh, the state uh, start date and duration. It means the company is going to inform your college about the start date and the duration of this particular internship. It means your regular curriculum will not get disturbed with this internship. Okay. And it is always going to benefit you. Their full time roles are very exciting and they are providing huge packages. By but this time they have not mentioned any kind of package or any kind of uh, perks which will be offered in this internship. But as we can say, the name is very big. So working with this name can give you a lot of growth and success. And even you are going to learn very much new things when you will be working with the team of Google. So let's not waste any more time. Let's just click on the supply button and check out what is asked in the forms. So when you will click on the apply button, the form will get open up. And if you have ever been earlier filling the form of Google, so they will take the particularly same uh, like information from their side only. And at last they will just ask you some basic questions. Okay. But let us check out like if I'll go to the first page once again and I'll just show you. So yes, at first they will be asking your resume, your contact details, like your name, preferred names, your country, your addresses, your mobile number your higher education, you can start from your masters and like write down all uh, the bachelor as well and masters as well. If you are doing your bachelors, like you are from 2025 batch, so you can just mention your bachelors and you can also write down what stream you are following. Okay. Your work experience, if you have any, if you have done any kind of internship, so you can write down. If you have not done any kind of internship, then you can just leave it. Okay. Next is your skills. Then write down as much as skills needed. Okay. So there will be one drop down menu. Just keep on pushing a uh, number of skills. Okay. Like coding skills, general skills and technical skills, but it must be related to the job only. Okay. So if they're asking the, about cloud, so try to write down some skills that are inclined towards this field only. Next is the cover letter. It is completely option. You can uh, like, if you are, if you're, if your cover letter is ready, you can put it up. If it is not ready, you can just leave it. Next is profile preferences. Okay. Just you have to tick on some consents. After that, you have to click on the next button. Next is the role information. Okay, so let's check out what is this role information all about. So this role information would be like the same, uh, like which role they are hiring for. Okay, next is some voluntary closures. Okay, this will check. So preferred location. So there are some preferred location. There is only one location that is Gurgaon. You can just fill it. Are you legally eligible to work in country? Yes, you are eligible. So you can just fill yes. Did do you currently need or you will someday require Google to sponsor your work authorization? So we'll fill no. Okay. And we'll just click on the next button. Yes. Now is voluntary disclosures. Uh, please indicate your gender. So you will just fill it. Please indicate your race. So you can just fill your race out of these options. Okay. Next is please indicate your disability status. So if you have no disability, you can just write no. If you have, you can just mention it. Please indicate if you are currently serving a military or you have served in past. So it can be no or yes as per your conditions. Okay. And at last you have to just click on this. Okay. Now I'll just click here. Okay. Next. You can also uh, put it here. Like there is one more option. I choose no to disclose. Okay. So this was all about. Next is you have to read this consent. You have to take on this consent and click on the next button. After you have to click on the next button, you will be landed to a page where you can review your file completely. You can just uh, check out each and every information. And as soon as you have read, uh, here is one more consent. You have to just check box it and you have to click on apply button. Yes. So as soon as you click on the apply button, your job will be get submitted and it will be shown here. Okay. So you can just uh, view your status from here also. You can open your Google careers page again. 
otherwise you will also receive an email for your further communication and google will be telling you each and everything which is important for their update and when is this internship going to start if your profile gets shortlisted they might also uh, like uh, connect with you for some other rounds of uh, hiring as well you have to clear those rounds and after that you will get selected okay so fill this opportunity as soon as possible as all the off campus opportunities comes up with a deadline and are always on first come first service so like you have watched the video till the end so now is the time to click the link that is mentioned in the description box and apply to this particular internship meet you in the next videos with some more content and with some more new company till then stay tuned bye bye